Tyreek Gentle was shot and killed on Elston Kerr Street in Belize City around 8 o'clock on Tuesday night. Gentle was reportedly standing in the yard when a gunman approached another man and fired shots at him. That person ran away from the shooter, but a second gunman reportedly came up to Gentle and shot him several times. He tried to get away and ran to the back of the yard. This blood on the ground marks the spot where he collapsed and died. It all happened so fast, according to Verla Gordon, who is one of the tenants at this apartment. She says she didn't see what happened, but the first two gunshots sent her scrambling for cover to protect her four-year-old son. I never think like think that something like this may what happened last night because um, I never expect that this may occur at that time. I made this long for my step, this socialized with two of my friends, and when I hear the first shot, and I just take my baby and I throw him inside and I crawl in behind him on my knees where I'm so frightened because I never experienced something like this. What was going through your mind as you heard those shots? What was the priority for you at that moment? I made a word about my baby. My baby and myself and I had a hell until the next lady would live next door to me. My neighbor, for where is she son? When the shots stopped ringing, Gordon says that's when she realized someone had been hit. But she says she was so shaken up that she didn't go out to see who it was. Today, she says she has no idea who Gentle is or why he was in the area. But what she knows is that the magnitude of what happened in her yard has left her reeling and afraid. When I come outside, then I know that somebody get hurt and somebody did because I see the crowd and I see the police and I stand up there and I'm so frightened. So I don't know where it take place because no. I'm afraid that it could have happened to anybody. Because like I call, text my baby pa and tell her, and then he say, well, I'm there, tell her I'm there inside. And I still up to this man, I still don't step there and I did cry because I said, hmm, my baby only four, it probably be my baby get hurt or me. Gordon has been living in this apartment for less than five months, but the traumatic and deadly incident is enough for her to find a new place to live. She says that had her baby been playing in the yard like he usually does, Today could have been a different day for her family. Last night, on one night, I chose not for me to make him come out, come downstairs, because if he may come downstairs, maybe he probably may have get hurt. I didn't even want to sit down my step no more, that evening time or night time. As, I'm, as, as dark they look for setting, I went inside because I know uh, my, it could happen again and my baby or me go get hurt. So I know I stay outside. I'm afraid. It's our open yard where anybody could go to so I know uh live here. No more cause I fear for my life and my baby because the only four years of age. Information to News Five is that the killers got away from the scene in a vehicle. Reporting for News Five, I am Andrea Polanco.